So here I have a sound file in which I'd like to label every instance of the trill phoneme, such as an initial R in the word rana, or a double R between two vowels, as in perro. I'm going to use a text grid to annotate it by creating intervals and giving those intervals names. So let's open this file in prot. I launch prot and click open. The sound file is fairly short, so I'll click read from file, but keep in mind that if you are using a file that is longer than several minutes, it's better to open it as a long sound file. I navigate to my file and click open. Now I'm going to create a text grid object for annotation. I click annotate to text grid. I'm going to have only one tier and I shall name it text and I will leave the other text field blank and click OK. I'll select both files by holding Shift and click View and Edit. Recall that the top part of the window shows the waveform, the middle part shows the spectrogram, and the bottom part shows the tier of the text grid that I just created. Now I'm going to annotate this sound file by creating intervals on the text grid that represent the R. So let's zoom in a bit and move to the start of the file. Let's select a part of the file and play it by pressing tab. La rana. As you can hear, there's an R in the word rana. And let's label it. I know that these two regions are vowels because they're slightly darker. La rana. So the area between them is R. So now let's create an interval on the text grid. I click on the start of the interval and press enter to create a left boundary. And I click on the end of the interval and press enter again to create a right boundary. Now I can click on the interval and press tab to play it to double check that I've selected the right region. And recall that you can move a boundary left or right and delete it by pressing option delete on Mac or alt delete on Windows. I'll press command Z to undo and now I need to label the interval. Later, I'm going to use a script to get the duration of the interval, and because of the way how the script works, I need to give this interval a very specific name. First, I need to type in the number of occlusions. In this case, there are three, as you can hear. You can also see that there are three lighter areas on the spectrogram, which means that not as much air is going through and an occlusion happens. So there are three occlusions, and I will type the number three, followed by the word which in this case is Rana. Now be sure not to have any spaces or accent marks in the name. And again, the interval name has to be the number of occlusions, which in this case is three, prepended to the word, which in this case is Rana. Let's find the next R. Shurapa. As you can hear, there's an R in the word Ropa. I can hear that it is between two vowels, U and O. So let's zoom in a bit more and create an interval. I click where I'd like the interval to start and press enter to create a left boundary. The right boundary is not completely clear, so let's click on format and check show formats and look at the format structure represented by the red dots. So it looks like the interval would end about here. And as a sanity check, let's play it. As you can hear and see from the spectrogram, there are zero occlusions and the word is ROPA. So the name of the interval would be zero ROPA. Let's scroll right and play the next segment. Al perro. It looks like the R is here, and again, I know that by looking at the waveform and the spectrogram. I press Enter to create an interval, and again, let's play it to make sure that I've selected the right region. It has two lighter areas on the spectrogram, so it has two occlusions, and the word is perro, so I'll name it to perro. And let's take a look at one last example. De repente. So here we have an R in the expression de repente. I again look at the waveform and the spectrogram to see that it's after this E and before this E. Let's press enter to create an interval. 
As you can hear, there's only one occlusion, so I'll name the interval one repente. So now I have reached the end of the sound file and there are no more trills. I need to save the text grid file that I have been editing, so let me click File, Save Text Grid as Text File. I need to make sure to save it in the same folder as the sound file and check that their names match and click Save. So that's how you can label occlusions in Prot.